What is up guys, it's Max Merck here and today I have the 2017 Mini Cooper John Cooper Works and I'm going to be going over some of the things I hate about this car. So the first thing that I don't like about this car is the key. So the key itself is kind of the classic mini, you know, circular key. However, um, when you get inside the car now, you don't have to insert it any, it's insert the key into anything um, like the older models did. But it's not the design I don't like, it's the quality. I mean, it's not bad, but it just feels, I don't know, it feels like it could be better. It's like a, I don't know, it's just, it just feels cheap to me. And I mean, this car is around 40 grand. Um, I would expect a little more than this. And then this being John Cooper Works, um, I would really appreciate if Mini would put like a little John Cooper Works badge or, I don't know, something to, you know signify that this is a john cooper works the next thing i absolutely hate about this car and a bunch of other people hate as well is this right here this hood scoop the john cooper works comes with hood scoop but it's fake now i mean i personally and I'm, i know mean, everyone else really has no idea why many would go for a fake hood scoop i mean it's a turbocharged car i mean i don't see why it wouldn't need the cooling but it's a fake hood scoop i mean it looks good but um, when you actually notice it's fake, it just it just makes you wonder why 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 are they doing this? The next thing I hate about the Mini Cooper is the rear um, hatch. I mean, I know this can be done, but I would really appreciate if uh, Mini could have engineered a way so that if you click this, it'll actually pop the trunk open instead of you having to sit there and pull it. Um, I know other cars in the segment are the same way, but uh, I wish kind of all these little hatchbacks um, or hot hatches could do that. I mean, they're just a big convenience feature. Next up on the things I hate is uh, how this panoramic roof shade works. Now, it's, it's a manual shade. I don't mind that it's a manual shade, but what I do mind is that if I go ahead and um, put it in the accessory mode, I can actually open the roof with this shade closed. That's just like, I don't, I don't see how that's ever gonna be useful. I mean, either you want the sunroof open or closed. Now, next up is the infotainment system. Now, I know this is a BMW drive system, and uh, in BMWs it works very well, but in this car, um, I don't know, it just doesn't work out the best for me, um, especially with this armrest situation, which I'll go over um, in a minute. Um, it's just, I don't know, this is a bit low for me. I mean, while you're driving, it's just kind of difficult to, to use. I mean, I really, and they have um, these different radio modes and um, preset buttons. But I, I really, and it has voice control as well. But I really wish they had kind of done a touch screen with this car. Because, I mean, honestly, the screen itself is probably easier to reach than this. Like, I understand they don't want the driver to get distracted. But it's probably easier to do this while you're driving or at any time than to have to go down here while you're driving. Um, I don't know. I just, personally, I don't like it. It has a learning curve to it. So, next up is the armrest situation. And I personally hate this armrest. I mean, uh, from the get-go, it has very minimal storage so you know, pretty much a pen is basically all you can fit in there i don't even think my phone's gonna fit in there um but let me tell you why i hate it so look i'm gonna put this uh, i'm gonna put that um handbrake down and when i lower this at the most comfortable setting you know i like it at the lowest setting just like this if i want to go put the pan brake up it's gonna move that and i find that really annoying because when i want to go put the handbrake down it's i can't pull it up because this is in the way so if i want to put the handbrake down i have to lift this up put it down then put this back down and pull that and uh that's just so that's too much they really could have kind of figured a way around that or maybe put this at a different position where um you wouldn't have to deal with that kind of thing so because of this i mean especially with having a stick shift right here um i always just kind of personally just leave it up and just forget about the armrest next up i know that this is not a practical car by any means um or it's not a people mover is what i should say but you have these two back seats, and um, honestly, don't bother putting anybody in these back seats unless um, they're really small children. Children, like I'm a six foot, I'm six foot tall, and I have this seat set to. Oh, see, it's really difficult getting in here. Um, and oh, yeah. All right, we made it. I'm six foot tall. I've set um, this seat to where I'd leave it. So let's move this back. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, I'm six feet tall. I have this set for a six foot tall person. And um, I really don't have any f spot to put my feet down there. And uh, my knees are up against this. I mean, it's nice that you have a cutout right here. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to fit at all. Um, but it's, uh, it's pretty small back here. Really small, actually. But it's nice that they do give you this um, panoramic roof. So it gives a little bit more of an airy feel. You don't feel as claustrophobic. That's nice. But uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't put people in the back seat unless they're small children. 
So guys, that's about it for the things I hate about the Mini Cooper John Cooper Works. I mean, it's a great car. Don't get me wrong, I love this car, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.